Epiphone, Sheraton, two, two little eyes, Pro, V6. In the burst of some kind color, check this feller out. Oh, come on. Gold hardware, coil taps, coil tapping here on, on the, um, on, on the bridge on the neck. Pro Bucker pickups. You can find all the specs for the wood and all that online. The, the highlights here are the pickups, obviously, which I really like. The inlays are berserk. Really, for a for a Epiphone type guitar, you know, something made in overseas. Let me see if I can get get in on those. Get in on it. Let's see if I can get it. All right, let's go from the. We're gonna go from the bottom here. Look at that. We got the ferns, tree of life. Beautiful. Come on. And those are the inlays. Oh yeah, son. Yeah. Anyway, Epiphone A. Check it out. Woo! I believe that's Italian. Anyway, uh, I bought this guitar off of this fella here uh, in town a couple weeks ago. I haven't had a whole lot of time to dig into it. Um, I really like the guitar. Uh, I think it plays really well. I like the guitar a lot better than the ES-335s that Epiphone makes. They're a little cheaper too, so, you know, of course I like it a little bit better. Um, this guitar goes for $750 brand new. Um, the question is, would I pay that for it? And the thing is, is I'm kind of a jerk when it comes to new guitars. Like, guitar companies aren't making their money off of, off of me uh, buying their brand new sparkly stuff. I like the old stuff and, and all that. Um, but for $750 new... Eh, man, I, I would think about it. Um, I would definitely buy it brand new for $700. Um, 750 might be pushing it for me, but that's just because I'm kind of a dick. Um, 600 mint, I buy this all day. Um, I've bought $600 used guitars that were way crappier than this. Now, the guy that I got it from did say that he had it set up that right out of the box it was a little bit tougher to play. And he had the guy work on the action a little bit and get it. It plays really nice now. So that's a little bit there. But um, 600 bucks mint, shit, all day, man. I think that's a really good job. And I think you, could, you can get it for 550 to 600 mint on reverb right now, mint. Um, the Epiphone 335s, those are going for like 600 new. And these are 750 new. If I'm buying new, I'm buying this for 750 over the, the 335 600 It's only money. I don't really care for that guitar. Maybe it's because I've owned a, a few Gibson 335s, so you you know you can't really go back. But this thing, this thing to me feels a lot more like the 335 Gibson than the Epiphone 335 does. Um, I went over to Guitar Center today and played a few of the Epiphone 335s just to feel them out. And I don't know, they're just not for me. Um, but this thing, though, is definitely for me. Um, I'm probably going to sell it, but that's just because that's what I do. i got too many guitars lying around here. But if I wasn't in the business of just doing that for shits, I'd probably keep this thing around a while. Um, it's, just, it's just all class over here, man. Look at that. Just all class on this side of the table. And that's kind of what you want out of a 335, right? You know, your, your Les Pauls, you want them to patina and you want them to get all that character and everything semi hollow bodies you want them to to look like a piece of art you want them to, to look like you're worth some money you know like a pair of gator skin shoes that's what you want out of a 335 Les Paul you got work boots on and you're just kicking ass 335s and, and Sheridan it's even it's called a Sheridan I mean that's a classy name uh, so anyway that's the review I'm, I'm gonna plug it in uh, we'll do some uh, demoing real quick, just something light through the plug-in so you can hear it because uh, I can't crank up the amps because I'll wake up my wife, I'll wake up my neighbors and they'll kick me out of the suburbs and I'll have to go live in the swamp. Uh, that's about it. I'll see you out there. Okay, this is a neck pickup.
little bit on the bridge. Thank you. 